Uh, thank you very much for uh, the welcome, for the voice of the Jewish people who refused the Zionist project, refused to leave their own countries to go and occupy another people's country. Zionism, that's what is telling us that we, the Jewish people, should not be living where we are living. We do not have the right to live here in Quebec or in Canada or the United States. Why? Because we're Jewish. And this is what we hear now from the new Bannon, who has been appointed the chief advisor to the President of Trump. Because he says that Israel is for the Jewish people. And here, the United States, Canada even, the local government, has voted against Palestine, and they believe the same thing. That here is not a country that is suitable for Jewish people and Muslim people to live here or to come here. Why? This was not originally a Christian country. This was originally a people who came from the East and settled here 20,000 years ago and are the indigenous people of Quebec, of Canada, and the United States. And yet, the Christians who came from Europe claimed this territory for themselves and attempted to convert everybody to be only a Christian. And the Jewish people are supposed to leave and go to Palestine and live in what is called a Jewish state which it is not even. Even the Israel government has not been able to declare itself to be a Jewish nation state because the definition of being Jewish is not uh, standard. There is no definition of what it is to be Jewish. There are various ways of being Jewish. And I would add that to be Zionist is not to be Jewish. To be Zionist is to follow the Christian ideology which says that the place for the Jewish people is in Palestine, in the territory of Canaan, and not here in the West. We reject this notion. The Yashkenazim, from which I came from, my parents were from Poland, and escaped from the ghettos there that were set up by the Nazis, reject the fascism which says that we do not have equal rights. And we reject the fascist tendencies and the ministers in the Israel government now who say that the Israeli Palestinians do not have equal rights and who voted against the resolution put forward by the joint list. And we reject the Zionists who say that the lands on which the Palestinians are living do not belong to them, even though the International Criminal Court says otherwise, even though the Supreme Court of Israel says that Amona settlement is built on private Palestinian land and that the Amona settlers must leave. And they refuse. And this government of Netanyahu goes along with them. And they're backing down on implementing the Supreme Court decision which says that December the 25th, all those settlers have to go out. They're trying to send them to another settlement, another colony close to the Jordan border. But they want to stay in Amona. They refuse the Supreme Court of Israel. They refuse the authority of the Israeli government even. The Zionists are trying to set up their own power base with their own militia and infiltrating the army to suppress the Palestinian peoples. This we oppose. And we oppose this together with the Palestinians in the resistance in the West Bank and Gaza, together with the Jewish Israelis who oppose the Isra Israel's government inside the occupied territory of Palestine, and together with the Rudua Karta, who is here present with us here today. And this is an international movement of the authentic uh, religious Jewish communities which are present in Jerusalem and which demonstrated in Jerusalem against the military conscription of their children. 500,000 Haredi demonstrated in Jerusalem against the Israel government which wanted to take their children and put them into the Israel military. 
In New York, 50,000 demonstrated at the same time. And the media said nothing. Because they don't want to let you, the general population, know that real Jewish people reject Zionism. There's a difference between being Jewish and being Zionist. This is what I have explained here. And there's a difference between being in solidarity with the Palestinian people and being against the Jewish people. Two different things. Anti-Semitism exists, yes we know. Some people try to take advantage of the Palestinians to push their ideology, like we have now this new administration coming from the Trump campaign, which are very Zionist, more Zionist than even Obama. There's a big difference. Now we can see the difference. It's shown everywhere. And we denounce it. We, two people, stand in solidarity with each other. And we will not let pass any violations of human rights. Now we know that in the Security Council coming up this month or next month, there will be resolution recognized Palestine as an independent state. And it's likely that the State Department, which is still controlled by Obama, will not veto this resolution this time. We should look forward to the recognition of Palestine as an independent state. Soon. Right now. Viva Palestina! Viva Palestina! After I will give a speech to Madame Rita Mapiti, she's a writer and the well-known activist here in Montreal. She's writing a book about Palestinian children in Gaza. Take, take. Would you like me to hold it for you? Yes, please. I need my glasses. Hello, hello. Okay, speak now. Hello, hello? It's good, yeah? Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour, je suis contente d'être ici avec vous. Alors, mes amis palestiniens, j'admire votre courage. Avant d'aller plus loin, permettez-moi de vous, de me présenter. Euh, je suis Rita Amabili et très vite dans ma vie, j'ai fait le choix d'être amoureuse. C'est pour cela que je suis devenue théologienne. Alors, selon moi, il n'y a aucun autre chemin vers l'humanité que d'être amoureuse. Il n'existe aucune autre route vers la paix que de se pencher vers la souffrance de l'autre, qui que soit cet autre. Et depuis toujours, je suis amoureuse des enfants. Et bien entendu, ma préférence va à ceux qui souffrent. Pour eux, j'ai créé « Azag et les enfants » puisque Azag, c'est Gaza à l'envers, c'est l'envers de la peine et l'envers de la peur. Et un jour, je me suis aperçue que la situation de Gaza était très peu connue dans mon entourage. Et c'est pour ça que j'ai utilisé mon imagination pour en raconter une toute petite partie par l'histoire pour enfants, je sais que je rejoins les grands-parents, les gardiennes, les oncles, les tantes, les cousins. Je ne parle pas de conflit. Je n'en ai ni la compétence ni l'envie. Comme je suis romancière, alors j'invente une fiction dans un cadre réaliste pour faire connaître. Azag et les enfants est un récit pour les 9 ans et plus. Cependant, il enseigne une situation dont il est intéressant aussi pour les adultes. Je tenais à exposer le quotidien des petits et leur vision au moyen de pensées d'enfants, de situations drôles et aussi de circonstances dramatiques, puisque les petits en vivent autant. Regardez à Azag, il est fait de briques d'une vieille machine à laver, d'une vieille télévision, de branchage et d'un voile. Il a été illustré par ma fille Eve Amabili-Rivet, qui a reproduit de superbes essais à l'intérieur du corps. N'oubliez pas que 
conclusion, partager aux, aux lecteurs que la créativité peut ouvrir une fenêtre de liberté dans un monde enclavé. Mon récit est précédé d'une préface de Bruce Katz, que peut-être vous connaissez, et qui est co-président de Palestiniens et Juifs Unis. Mon livre est électronique, puisque nos jeunes utilisent maintenant plus facilement leur cellulaire ou leur iPad pour lire. Il se vend 5,99 à partir de mon site internet, ritamabili.com, mes livres. Je vous ai apporté des cartes d'affaires pour ceux qui sont intéressés. J'ai des cartes d'affaires sur l'adresse de mon site qui sont disponibles, comme je dis. Avec cette histoire, Merci. Je fais des animations dans des groupes, dans des écoles où je suis invitée et où je parle de la situation des enfants vivant dans la bande de Gaza. Azag se termine par une conclusion qui amène le lecteur à une réflexion sur la solidarité. Cette finale était un passage obligé puisque je vous l'ai dit en débutant, selon moi, il n'y a pas d'autre chemin vers l'humanité que d'être am amoureuse mondialement et de le partager sans cesse. N'hésitez pas à venir me retrouver ou à visiter mon site. Merci beaucoup. Merci.